So on one of our latest videos, you got to see us do some bow fishing, which was a little bit different for us. And tonight we're gonna do something a little bit strange again. We're gonna go groundhog hunting, but with our bows. A couple nights, uh, actually a couple weeks ago rather, I went down to a property that we deer hunt I actually where I shot my last two bucks and uh, discovered that there's quite a few groundhogs and where the landowner lives there's groundhogs like in his yard and he actually asked if we would shoot them so he has a couple different barns and like a camper and some good features that we can get behind and maybe pop out and shoot a couple with the bow so that's what we're gonna try to do I'm actually gonna be videoing Jake's behind the camera now and he's gonna be shooting so hopefully we'll get a a crack at a couple that would be fun and uh, just in case we brought the gun as well so we'll see what happens I kind of want you to try but if you haven't shot I want to burn it he's gonna take off and not come back out I bet his hole is pretty close do you want to try I don't care if you try you worry about losing an arrow yeah. Just I kill him. We should see a couple up here though. Just, Just kill him. Good? Mm-hmm. Okay, I got him. Got him. <laughs> that gun is on, dude. That is. That gun's fun to shoot. All right, now let's go get one with the bow. We got one. There's one in the field that we know we're going to get a crack at, but we want to try to get some with the bow first. So, thanks for letting me take that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to set this here. We'll go get him. Yeah, you're going to go get him. There might be another one down there. There's a number on them. <laughs> you can't even really show them. <laughs> All right, we got one down. And same thing as the other night. Popped out of the truck, let off a shot two seconds later. <laughs> We're gonna get the bow now and see what we can do. No, I don't have to pee. I'm just trying to get my range finder where I can get to it easy. We haven't, I haven't, I haven't groundhog hunted in a long time. And that first shot Nick took, <laughs> my heart was thumping. If you don't hunt groundhogs, you're missing out on a summer fun activity.
Was he just chilling? Yeah, he's just laying there. You didn't get the first shot on it. No, I couldn't get around. Well, I should have told you I wasn't on it, but... I never thought I heard you say go ahead, so I just shot. I'd say that's a pretty well placed arrow. <clears throat> well, the 22250. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a gun to do some varmint hunting, raccoons, or if you're shooting at a long distance, groundhogs, things like that, there's not much left of them, but you're going to kill them, that's for sure. And this thing got to eat for the first time this season, too. This year, I guess. It's not really a season. But. I was able to shoot a groundhog at like 19 or 20 yards, and uh, <laughs> it's a challenge because it's like a mix between, at least where we're at, we've got a landowner that wants to get rid of them. They're underneath all of his old barns and in his house and everything, and uh, it's like a mix between bow hunting and urban warfare. So <laughs> I had drawn before and just crept out from a corner and saw him and shot, and second shot finished him off. It's a fun night. It's a great way to spend your summer evenings if you got free time. So, but don't shoot expensive arrows because you'll ruin some.